And when I started posting even more consistently and honing my method of the content that I was putting out, it went up even further than that. And I was able to get a really great understanding of how to connect with people in the proper way and have made some amazing, amazing friends along the way. I personally started seeing LinkedIn picking up more and becoming like a real social media network, right? So instead of just a place where you had your CV and you used to send this cold uh, LinkedIn and, you know, outreach messages, something changed on LinkedIn. And I think part and parcel of that is, is COVID. So COVID fueled the usage of LinkedIn because, hey, uh, right now we don't have physical networking. We don't have on-site conferences. We can't fly over to see a prospect. So we're using whatever we have and LinkedIn is a great network to leverage. As you may know, Ari, there are around 600 million profiles on LinkedIn in total, but on a weekly basis, only 0.55% post on LinkedIn, meaning yeah. there's not enough content to satisfy, right, to show up in the feeds of so many uh, users. Yep, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. And if you compare that to a social media platform like Instagram, it's the complete opposite. You have an overload of content and not enough people to digest it. So when people ask, what is a better platform to highlight your brand, I always address LinkedIn as being the clear winner in that case because of the vast amount of people that are consuming content on the platform. But that's exactly the point, Ari. And I think every social media network that is popular today, at some point, it had that window where usage was going up, meaning there are more people going on the platform, reading and consuming the content, but there were not enough creators. Organic reach opportunity right now, I think in the next six to 12 months max, is insane. And I think there are three more main advantages, or let's say, um, and elements that make LinkedIn stand out today. The first one is the business mindset, right? People that go on LinkedIn, they are more open to learn about new ways to collaborate, new products or services that could benefit them, right? That's the business network. Um, and this is very different because we go on Instagram and Facebook to do what? To mostly, you know, have fun, like laugh a little bit. Like no one wants to hear an annoying sales pitch on Facebook. Number two is a networking etiquette. So it's actually totally fine to start speaking to random, you know, people, strangers all over the world and just start connecting on a professional basis. And I don't think we have that anywhere else. I mean, if some random person reaches out to me on Instagram, I'll probably be like, I don't know, it's a bit weird. So LinkedIn, this is totally fine. And the third one is the user base, right? The user base is different. We're talking about uh, more senior uh, kind of user base. So to share with you statistics, actually 60 million influencers, decision makers are on LinkedIn today, right? So those are the people who can give a uh, go, no go to all sorts of different projects. They can start, they can send their team to investigate. So this is big. That's amazing. That really is a huge number.